Question 1. What should you do before making a U-turn? Look over your shoulder for a final check. Question 2. What should you do as you approach this bridge? Slow down. Question 3. Where should you avoid overtaking? Approaching a dip in the road. Question 4. What does this curved arrow road marking mean? Overtaking traffic should move back to the left. Question 5. What should you do if your mobile phone rings while you're driving or riding? Leave it until you have stopped in a safe place. Question 6. Why are these yellow lines painted across the road? To make you aware of your speed. Question 7. What should you do when you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time? Be ready to stop. Question 8. What should you do before slowing down or stopping your vehicle? Use the mirrors. Question 9. You're following a large vehicle. Why should you stay a safe distance behind it? You'll give the driver a chance to see you in their mirrors. Question 10. Why should you use your mirrors when you see a hazard ahead? To assess how your actions will affect the traffic behind. Question 11. You're waiting to turn right at the end of a road. What should you do if your view is obstructed by parked vehicles? Stop and then move forward slowly and carefully for a clear view. Question 12. There are objects hanging from your interior mirror. Why could this be a hazard? Your view could be obstructed. Question 13. You're on a long motorway journey. What should you do if you start to feel sleepy? Leave the motorway and stop in a safe place. Question 14. Why should you switch your headlights on when it first starts to get dark? So others can see you more easily. Question 15. What's most likely to distract you while you're driving? Using a mobile phone. Question 16. 
you're driving your car. When may you use a handheld mobile phone? When you've parked safely. Question 17. You're driving on a wet road. What should you do if you have to stop your vehicle in an emergency? Keep both hands on the steering wheel. Question 18. What should you do when you move off from behind a parked car? Look around before moving off. Question 19. You're traveling along this road. How should you pass the cyclist? Leave them plenty of room as you pass. Question 20. When do windscreen pillars cause a serious obstruction to your view? When you're approaching bends and junctions. Question 21. What should you do if you can't see clearly behind when you're reversing? Ask someone to guide you. Question 22. What does the term blind spot mean? An area not visible to the driver. Question 23. What's likely to happen if you use a hands-free phone while you're driving? It will divert your attention. Question 24. You're turning right onto a dual carriageway. What should you do before emerging? Check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle. Question 25. You're waiting to emerge from a junction. The windscreen pillar is restricting your view. Motorcyclists. Question 26. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation Set nav system doesn't distract you when you're driving. Set it before starting your journey. 